Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my progress update for swapping to Solo Cell Found Softcore. And it has been a really, really interesting journey and I'm going to show you guys why. So if you guys have watched any of my previous Solo Cell Found videos from other leagues, you'll know that I do like to target farm for specific uniques and I can be quite stubborn because, well, it's just not always fun when you're trying to force every item to drop from just sheer amount of playtime and maps. So I, I like trying to target farm items because it's just kind of an interesting thing to do. So today I want to explain to you guys what I have been doing to try to find my Quill Ring. Now I've been playing this character for a total of 19 hours, you know, give or take a few hours of being AFK. And let me show you what I've been, what I've been doing. So Along my journey, uh, I haven't hit maps yet, I did manage to find a foil Presence of Cheyula, which happened to drop from a time-worn relic, which dropped out of Blood Aqueducts. Uh, I run Blood Aqueducts basically when I'm trying to farm Sulfite. I know there's better methods like doing Query, but in general, Blood Aqueduct is nice. I get some XP. I'm farming Tabula Rasa cards. Tabula Rasa cards are good because if you get a Tabula Rasa and you don't want to use it, you can vendor it for a Divine. A Divine will allow you to re-roll the modifiers on your unique items, uh, not the prefixes but like not the not the implicit but the actual like core stats that can change that's good because quill rain rolls from 50 to 100 percent projectile speed and the second i fucking get one i plan on using it the entire time and you know i'm not really gonna look for a better one so uh along with that journey we've got you know quite a few chaos orbs i've been using all my chances that i get towards the quill rain um and let's show you some other stuff that i found I found a item level 7 Tabula Rasa, along with a plethora of low level uniques and actual fossils. Um, I have like 50 something pristine fossils, which are great for life. Uh, I'm pretty sure pristine and, and aberrant are going to be my two like favorite ones to use. So I do have to say, even though I have really, you know, stunted my character development by forcing myself to find a Quill Rain, I have at least been farming really good things for later on in the game for my build. Um, so that's what I really like about Delp is I don't really feel like I'm just wasting my time and being stubborn. I feel like I'm actually kind of getting rewarded for it. So, uh, moving on as well over to some of the uniques we found. Now, I've also done, uh, I've sacrificed quite a few of these. I've just deleted them out of rage. Uh, I've also done 5 for 1 Prophecy, I've attempted to farm the Porcupine card, didn't decide to do that because I was like, fuck it, I don't feel like doing this anyway. I tried going for a Hunter's Resolve, Hunter's Resolve is like, gives you a random unique bow. Um, the method I actually tried to do is quite interesting, basically Hunter's Resolve can be found over in the Riverways which are over here. So what I decided to do to try to find this is I was like, hmm, well, Riverways has some guaranteed unique mobs. How about we go ahead, kill the unique mobs and reset the zone? And I was like, okay, killing unique mobs has like the highest net chance of the rares. You'll see here, there's a dude here that's gonna shoot me. Where is he over here? Maybe he's over on the other side somewhere. Hold on. So basically I would go to Southern Forest right over here and I would turn around and just reset the zone. And then I go right over here, I smack any blue packs that I see, hope that something drops. The unique dude is chilling right here, he shoots, he creates his clones, they're all tagged as, you know, uniques. Uh, and then I was like, oh, okay, they drop a decent amount of stuff, let's see. I did this maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 times, never found a Hunter's Resolve. The only thing I found was a Corrupted Drill Neck card, so I was like, okay, that's a bit interesting. Uh, I've been using full magic find gear. I'm sitting at currently 73% rarity, which I know has no effect on divination cards, plus an item rarity gem, and I even found Sedimas, so I'm using them for the quantity gain. Um, these are some of the low-level uniques that I've been using. The cool thing about the low-level uniques is at least these will go towards a lore weave, but the other interesting thing is since Quill Rain is item level 5, any item level 5 uniques that you have uh, can be used in the 5 for 1 recipe. So if you get Nivaldi and you get a lucky 5 for 1, you put 4 uniques in and then you put 1 item level 5, it'll take the lowest item level so the other one should be above 5, and you haven't, well, I don't want to say an okay chance at a Quill Rain, but you could go look up all the, you know, level 5 requirement ones. And to just show you the delve for what we've been doing, um, let me go ahead and show you guys. So, uh, my upgrades are not very good, you can see them right over here. This has been my Delve experience.
this is where I started. So I've essentially ran all through here and I have cleared pretty much, not all of them, but most of the most of the uh, chests and the weapon caches along with even some of the armor ones um, in, you know, success or hopes that I do find the Quill Rain. I believe monster level 5 is the goal that I'm working towards because that's the level of a Quill Rain. Uh, anything higher nets you a less chance to find a Quill Rain, but at the same time, I mean, fuck it, like we're just trying to find it at this point. Uh, and you can see how far I have delved. I've missed like a lot of currency rooms. I'll go back and get them. Um, I've even actually tried farming Labyrinth, and I really hate Labyrinth. I was doing full key normal runs, uh, found quite a few uniques, but just unfortunately not the ones I'd like. This is actually an okay spot here. Seems there's a double double. But let's go ahead. Here's a five, and here's a six, so this is where I stopped it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do these really fast, and I'm going to show you my methods of delving. Okay, now since this character is a lot weaker than my previous character and doesn't have the upgrades or mobility, delving can be a bit scary. Even though we're in, you know, monster level... Oh, wait, is this monster level 4? Oh, that's not good. Oh, monster level 5. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we got the mobs. Exile died. Can I have a Quill Rain, please? You get taunted by so many fucking short bows, man. Just so many... Nope, oh, that's accuracy. Alright, this is the lucky one. This has got to be it. Please... Give me, give me your blessings. I would like to find the Quill Rain. Now, even though the Quill Rain is going to be limited on its basically everything because it's going to be like item level 5, the plan is to farm Verici. Uh, farm Verici enough to essentially um, just force a 6 socket on it. And then after force 6 socketing it, I'll just go ahead and try to manually 6 link it. Anything over here? Oh, there's a boom wall here with... Uh, that's actually okay. Okay, rewards behind that. How about over here? Uh, ooh, di perfect! Dynamite cash. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and move over here, and we're just gonna go giga kaboom this. Okay, fuck you. Can you please let me through? Thank you. Pretty sure these are the a yeah, etheric ones. Good, good. What is going on right over here? What's over here? Some more resonators. Can this meet the other way? Oh, oh, pristine. That's life. Very good. What about over here? Metallic. And then there may be something up here. Or is this a new zone? That's another zone. Okay, this is this is a good one actually. This has like quite a few mobs that spawn. Anytime there's like a an encounter that spawns a lot of monsters, I guess I get kind of excited. I don't know if I should, but you know, you kind of have to force yourself to get excited at this point. So, <laughs> let's hope we can find something. Please, please, please. Unfortunately, we were shit out of luck. Um one more. One more. As you can tell, I'm quite desperate to find one at this point. there so just to show you what I've been doing for some sulfite and again it's not the most efficient way possible but it's what I've been doing because like I said before um, I can get divine orbs doing this method and divine orbs are just really nice in general so let's go ahead and just tap these in resonators over here you can go there okay I do have to say the softcore servers are really bad compared to the hardcore servers. That's one thing I've like definitely missed is like actually there's a spike right there. Um, 
So, prime example of what I was talking about. Um, I don't know what's with the software servers, but my character is probably going to be dead after this. Um, this has been something that's been going on every so often. I'm not re okay. Not really sure where or why it's doing that, but I really feel bad for you guys over in softcore because game freezes don't really occur that often to me in hardcore. This has been happening. I don't know, two, three times. I don't even know, like an hour maybe. I just decided to or decided to play a little bit on this late night, and I noticed that uh, yeah, that was happening. Now this character, if you guys were curious, does take extreme amounts of damage. I have pretty much thrown out everything just to try to get a quill rain, so you're seeing me run as much magic fine gear as I can muster, and by doing that I have 12% lightning resistance, which is really bad considering these Stygian Revenants that actually killed my other character um, pretty much can like insta-give me, but again, I just want to get a quill rain. That's all that really matters to me is getting the quill raid. Uh, let's, do, let's do one more run for good luck. I feel it. this dude. Nope, nothing. I've also tried farming the lower level areas like Ledge and uh, uh, not Dweller, but the place right before is a Submerged Cavern or whatever. That's a level 5 zone, so nothing from there as well. I didn't even find like one unique at all. Maybe I'll find one here. There's a shrine here and big blue pack. Place? Pretty place? Nope. No pretty please at all. Alright then, that's pretty much been it with the character and the progression. The reason why I'm using these shitty boots is because they give 35% movement speed. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. I'll see what I can do about giving you guys a progress update. But like I said, I you know I don't want to like create duplicate content. So I'm definitely going to wait to get the Quill Rain and then push our character into maps right away. So we can have some fun stuff going on. And uh, I will let you guys know that for softcore specifically, I don't really think I'll be doing much of a shaped atlas strategy. Instead, I'll just be like full clearing probably everything on the atlas since I, you know, I don't really have to worry. Plus, this is going to be a good a good time for me to basically learn all the map bosses, what they're deadly with, what they're not deadly with. You know, really good experience for actually playing hardcore again for like next league, for example. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, of course, if you are curious, remember you can always catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Tomorrow I'll still be hunting for a quill rain, so you're more than welcome to drop by and wish me your blessings. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.